Are 3D hold sensors the future of controllers? They've been around for a few years, but I haven't seen them in any controllers. That is why I decided to test them myself. Will they change the way we game forever? I ordered two 3D hold sensors straight from Texas Instrument and made a test and a compute board to use them. With my trusty PCBWay dark matte solder mask, I'm ready to see if these sensors are worth the hype. But first, we gotta blow through the 60 pages datasheet and code up a usable driver. A 3D hole sensor look similar to the regular ones, but they have three hole sensors inside, each facing a different direction. This allows them to measure the magnetic field in three dimensions. I used my 3D printer to create a versatile tool that lets me manipulate the magnet around the 3D hole sensor with ease. When the magnet approaches the sensor package, the three hole sensors detect an increase in the magnetic field and by setting a custom trigger point we can use this increase to register a virtual button press. This button press can be used to trigger events in our games. We can determine the magnet's position in 3D space by measuring the magnetic field and strength from the three sensors. This is similar to how GPS works. We can get the location data for the magnet with one single package. And on top of the magnet, we can place our joystick. But it doesn't stop there, there is more. Our sensor setup can detect all three dimensions of movement, just like a normal joystick. But it has an additional feature. By tracking the rotation of the magnet around all three axes, we can add a fourth function and transform the joystick into a twisting knob. We discussed some impressive features already, but there's one more that really excites me about this technology, and that is enabling motorized joysticks. The 3D hold sensor allows us to get around 65,000 steps of the resolution for one rotation, which is great for advanced motor control. By adding tiny motors and placing the magnet inside the joystick, we can create mini joysticks with forced feedback. These not only eliminate dead zone drift by allowing us to program the center anywhere we want, I call this the holy grail of joystick technology. While it was relatively easy to make a large version, I am now eager to challenge myself by attempting to make a small compact version. With the help of some super tiny magnets, I am confident that I can successfully engineer and design a mini motorized joystick. I am grateful to have the support of my backers, which allows me to follow my passion and build you stuff you're not supposed to have. You can back me and help me continue advanced controller technology by purchasing my USB-C conversion board for the PS4 controller. You can buy them over at Tindy or at Lectrons. They're only 10 bucks and are assembled by me here in Norway. But what about Golikit? Golikit uses regular hold sensors from GoChip. They are placed right under a magnet that is attached to a rotating wheel. When you move the stick, it changes the distance between the magnet and the hole sensors. The controller translates this change in magnetic field strength into a rotation value for the game. Can you come up with something that 3D hole sensor technology enables that I missed? Hit me up down in the comment field or join us on the Discord and share your ideas. That's it for now. Hector Salamanca?